Hey you guys, we're back with another video for you guys. Woo! <laughs> okay, oh, we are celebrating our one year anniversary. Well, we celebrated yesterday. Yesterday was April 1st. Um, one year being with V3 Transportation. Yay! <laughs> Taggy. <laughs> no, well, all seriousness, we celebrated our one year anniversary, and it's so coincidental that we just happened to be at headquarters on the day of our anniversary because yep. just a year ago we were right, right here. here. So that's exciting. Um, but a lot yeah. went into preparing for our one year. V3 expects us requires us actually to get a DOT inspection every year which is a great thing yeah which is an amazing and thing with that DOT inspection is like you have to be prepared for this inspection because yeah. you got to make sure your brakes are good you have great tires you your windshield wiper work your left right blinkers work your high beams your low beams your tail lights your brake lights you have to make sure there's no crack in your windshield you have to make sure you have a fire extinguisher have to make you make sure you have <laughs> triangles and it, it sounds like a lot but these are little things that really counts yeah. out on the road so yeah we actually had a crack in our windshield um that we've been driving around with um and we knew that dot wouldn't pass us unless we got it fixed so we had to take some time off to get that replaced yep. and then we also um the car was our car is pretty in pretty good shape so we knew we didn't have any oil leaks because they do check under your car to make sure you don't have any leaks and like he said, all the lights and wipers and all that, all that's important. So we just had to make sure that we were prepared, which we actually did. What We were prepared, thank yeah, God. We might have did things last minute, yeah. but we got it done. We so, definitely waited till last minute yeah. to... to you, and it was to, her birthday, too. So yes, we celebrated my birthday we in was, March. Yeah, we were stumbling a lot. That's probably why y'all didn't see us. Sorry, yeah. but... Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. We're here now. We're here. We're not going nowhere. <laughs> So yeah, we're just chilling. This morning we got up, we I'm cooked sorry. breakfast. I'm a little, I seen a piece of hair on the, okay, go ahead. It's probably my hair. Cook breakfast. Oh, you guys haven't even we seen me with hair. Ben cooked breakfast this morning. Thank you. Continue. <laughs> ben cooked breakfast for us this morning. And we're, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say next. You messed me up with that. Oh, but yeah, so we're at headquarters. Um, we ran a little errands. We were going to get a truck wash today because the van is disgusting. But there's, there was a long line, so we were like, scratch that. We might but, go later, though. Yeah, we'll probably go later. Yeah. But um, this vlog is just us celebrating our one year, which we're not really mm -hmm. celebrating. We're not doing anything crazy. But it is Saturday. We like to do our date nights on Saturdays. So we might go get something to eat or just hang out. We, a have, bit we later. really have no plans today. Zero but plans. Y'all are coming with us, and we're just gonna be spontaneous and go with the flow. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, you happens. never know what no you might imprint. see, who you might see. Who, who they gonna see? I don't know. I'm just, Lulu. I was just trying to make. Y'all see Lulu? I was trying to make it sound good. Oh, okay. No. Yes. Yeah. No. I got y'all. So aside from getting. Ugh, a new cooler. I found out that I am addicted. I can't open this. I can't open that. And I'm just talking about how much we got this new cooler and we love it. Okay, it's all right. It's okay. It's not bleeding. You messed this finger up so many times. I'm trying to help you. I know, right? As I was saying, aside from getting a brand new amazing cooler that doesn't want to open, I found out that I am freaking addicted to hummus. Now, I've had hummus before. I think, I can't remember if it was Whole Foods or Costco. One of those places where before COVID, you can walk around and get samples. And I sampled hummus and I liked it, but I wasn't like, oh, I want to eat this all the time until we were in Kansas City for my birthday. And one of our friends had hummus and I was like, yo, this shit is good. So now I eat it almost every day. It's a toxic trait because I tell myself it's not healthy, but then I'm like, okay, I'll just eat the serving size, which is like two, maybe three tablespoons, but I end up eating, and I, this is nothing. I end up eating the whole big, like the family size one in one day by myself. It's toxic, I know. But at least I eat it with vegetables, so. 
it's not that bad, right? Anyway, before we um, pull out from headquarters, Ben's walking Lulu. I'm gonna eat my hummus, and everybody's a happy camper. She just gave y'all an hour long speech about hummus. I know it she wasn't did. even about hummus. I know, I know you it did. wasn't even about I know hummus. You did. Oh, yeah, you want some? You gotta open it. Pickiest eater ever. He doesn't eat broccoli. He doesn't eat plantains. He doesn't eat cauliflower. He didn't eat, what was it? Brussels sprouts up until like two weeks ago because he realized they were actually good. He doesn't eat bananas. He doesn't eat oysters. I eat the smash one. What's the smash one? The plantain? You can't even talk. The um, tostones, right? I got it right here. Anyway, I really, really like steamed oysters. I never like the raw ones. I never tasted the raw ones. I always judge them because they just look like bleh. Anyway, I tried raw oysters for my birthday, and let's just say I might like the raw ones better than the steamed ones, but I can never have nothing to myself. This is a snack. <laughs> <laughs> this is a snack. What was that? Wait, you went out. <laughs> you gotta eat it with the broccoli. <laughs> the and the spit carrots. was coming down my mouth. Because I was ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Alright, come on. Where are we going? You going to go get Chucky a wash? We gotta go get Chucky a bath. We? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go get Chucky a bath. Give me my thing. Gosh. You know what? Alright, y'all. We're going to Petra Pop Plus. She got to give Chucky a bath. <laughs> I'm going to film it, I guess. But You are. Let's go. A lot of you don't even know what Chucky even looks like because he's never in the videos. He's always in his little cave up under the glove compartment. But this is Chucky. He is... Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a rat. He's a chihuahua. He is 10 years old and I've long I've known him longer than my husband. No plans on what to do. We were going to sit down and eat, but I think we're gonna do that a little bit later. Hey, um, we're not about to eat. <laughs> we're not gonna eat. What you mean? We're not about, we're gonna eat later. You wanna eat now? I kinda wanna eat now, babe. All right, so I guess we're gonna eat now because big hungry is hungry. I can't wait to get you down, sit down at the table, <laughs> stuff in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, let's go eat because I'm hungry. All right, we're about to go eat. We don't know where yet, but we got to figure it out. Hey, it's 2113. Just calling to go out of service. Okay, hold on. Okay. And you're in a Medina, Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just took you out. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go get drunk. <laughs> it's funny how that happened. We wanted to record um, how we go out of service, but the lady in the car next to us, who's a really sweet lady, hey girl, if when you're watching this, hey to you and the family. <laughs> no, but <laughs> she thought Ben was taking a picture of, no, I don't know what she thought. All I thought was, oh, she thinks we're videoing her. I thought she was upset, but she was over there posing and photobombing and it was, it caught me off guard. But anyway, that was us calling to go out of service because we're gonna go for some drinks and obviously we do not wanna be in service while drinking. All right, so we found somewhere that we wanna go. So we're gonna park at Walmart and then we're gonna Uber to that spot because it's not far at all. I mean, it's actually walking distance, but we lazy. We're, he's lazy. <laughs> we'll get back to vlogging when we come back. We'll probably be a little bit inebriated, but that's okay, because we're out of service. A little bit off balance. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna show you guys our van setup with our lights. Not our setup, but like our lighting setup. 
because it's really really cool and i know we keep saying we're gonna do a van tour but it's coming i promise you we added a few more things yeah. we did a few more things to the van so yeah just want to make it perfect so yeah because we have nothing so <laughs> <laughs> we try to make it something All right. a little bit i feel like our van tour video is gonna be like two minutes They're long be like, uh, <laughs> like that's it that's it <laughs> morning y'all good morning wait no. It's the afternoon. Yeah, we're a little late. <laughs> but today is hoodie day. We just got up. We're moving around. It's 2.07 on Sunday. Yeah. Um, last night, we ended up getting drunk. We went to, like, two different bars. We met some cool people. It was a good time. We ate. It was a real good time. We always meet new friends everywhere we go. Yeah, everywhere. I don't know why, but... I mean, because we're, we're fun. We are. We're fun drunks. We're okay. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so we went in service as soon as we woke up, and then maybe like 30 minutes after we went in service, we got a call from dispatch with a load picking up Monday, tomorrow at 11 a.m. It's a real quick load. It just runs down to, um, where's it going? Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. And yeah, we got to drop by 6 p.m. We'll probably be there before 6, so it's not a long run at all. Hopefully, we can get another load out tomorrow, but if not, you know, we'll Louisville. Probably just chill. Yeah, we'll just chill cook. in Louisville. Yeah, we'll probably cook. Yeah. Well, right now, I'm about to go to... I got to go get the dog food. I forgot to get it yesterday. And then I'm going to go to Walmart. And because I have bacon left in the cooler, I'm just going to find something to cook with that. And, yeah, that's about it right now. Yeah, just a chill Sunday, Sunday fun day. Yep. Yesterday, or last night, we were supposed to come back to the van and show you guys our little lighting setup. But that didn't happen. But I do want to show you guys tonight when the um when the sun goes down and every well the sun's not out but when it gets dark I want to show you guys our lights because I think it's the coolest part of our van. We don't really have much but our lights are really cool and we just want to show you guys. We are back at headquarters. We went and ran our little errands, got our um, food for the day. Ben's gonna go back there and start cooking in a minute. But I wanted to show you guys headquarters really quickly. So this is headquarters. It's in Seville, Ohio. There's some vans parked over there. There's some more B3 vans over there. And there's trucks right here. But this is the parking that they have for us, which is great. This building right here is the garage where they work on vans and trucks and stuff. And then this building right here behind it has all of the departments like accounting, safety. They do orientation in there. Um, they do have the driver's lounge in there as well. I wanted to go in and film the driver's lounge for you guys, but I don't think it's a good idea only because I don't have permission to film it. So I just, I don't want any issues. But in the driver's lounge, they do have a kitchen for us. They've got some vending machines, um, a TV, a lounge area, some showers and bathrooms. It's perfect. It's comfortable. It's clean. We love the fact that uh, V3 has this driver's lounge here for us, as well as the parking and everything else. But yeah, let's see what Ben's doing. Getting it ready. Huh? Oh. This is our kitchen, y'all. Yeah. since we ate now we're at planet fitness we're gonna go work out really quick probably for about an hour maybe two hour and a half or something like that and then after that i have to run into target grab a few things and then it should be dark by then and then we can show you guys our lights i don't know why i'm so excited to show our <laughs> lights like y'all are gonna be like this is what you are hype about <laughs> yes y'all are gonna see why i'm so hype for no reason but it's okay hey i always do that Hey, it's so fake. Hey. Okay, you guys. So we just left. Hold on. There it is. Just left Planet Fitness. Um, ben and I are going to go to this little juice bar that we realized was in this plaza right here. Because I've been craving sugar. And an acai bowl will get me right. And I think Ben's just going to do like a juice or a smoothie. I don't know. But I'm getting acai. And then I'm gonna run into Target. It's a few things I need to get. After Target, hopefully it'll be dark and then we can show you our lights that I'm so excited to show you. It's really not that serious. 
to you guys, but I'm all about like ambiance and vibes and the lights just give our van a vibe, so. I'm gonna start with our fairy lights. Let me turn this off. These are our fairy lights. So we have them running pretty much all along the t like the ceiling, I guess you can call it. And they are battery operated. Yes, our fairy lights are battery operated. Nothing back. too crazy, but it does set the mood a little bit. And then, so we have our puck lights, which are also battery operated. We have three of them. These are our puck lights. We got one right here, one in the middle, and then one in the back. Right now they're pretty dim, I can make them brighter. These are really helpful for when we get loaded. Although we have these three that come with the van, when we get loaded at night, sometimes it's annoying to have to jump back here to turn these lights on for them to see what they're loading us with. So we just take the remote, turn it on, turn it off, and we can change the colors. Our favorite color is blue, because it's such a freaking vibe. <laughs> But it goes from blue, red, green. All the colors are the freaking rainbow, actually. But these are just the main colors, the Roy G. Biv colors. Last but not least, we have our LED lights, which are located in the back. When you first turn them on, they're blue, which is our favorite color for the van. But you can also change these colors to whatever color you want. Pretty simple. And show them the puck lights with the LED. Okay. Sometimes we'll do... Sometimes we'll get really fancy and do our blue puck lights with the blue LEDs. I don't think we've done it with all three lights. Well, I don't know. No. I really like it like that. Ben doesn't like when the, all these other lights are on. Yeah. But the blue, the blue is really our thing. Okay. We'll put it on red when it's time to get yeah. a little frisky. Time. It looks like in the back. Our light set up. Ready? Here's Ben's little night light. Yep, that's it. These Hope you guys lights. enjoyed. Hold on, let me put these back on because it's a vibe. Turn up. So that's our little light setup. Hope you guys enjoyed because it makes me really freaking happy. But if you guys are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate those who already have subscribed and you comment, you like. We thank you guys so much. Thanks for bearing with us. Please continue to support us and stay tuned for more of our videos.